Hey everybody, welcome back to Anthony's Horror and More, and today I want to talk to you guys about a film named Cobweb. Yes, I uh, just watched this last night. I thought I'd come on here and share my thoughts about it. This is a uh, rated R, one hour and 28 minutes, nice clean runtime. you know, very refreshing, you know, especially with all these movies being like two hours plus, uh, directed by Samuel Bowden who uh, is a French director, and I thought he did a hell of a job directing this. Also, the cinematography is beautiful. The way the director plays with the lighting and everything in the film is great. Um, and it just looks so good. I mean, it really does. I got to give it to the cinematographer. It looks so good. And it's mostly all shot in in the house and then at the school, and that's about it. <laughs> but the house looks so cool, you know, and... Um, yeah, and it's also set around Halloween time. It's set um, on Halloween as well, so it's got the, the Halloween vibes all the way through it. Um, it stars Lizzie Kaplan, who you know from Cloverfield, Hot Tub Time Machine, Mean Girls. Um, now You See Me Too, she's been in a ton of movies. Anthony Starr from The Boys, you know, he plays Homelander, who I, I think is, you know, the reason to watch The Boys, honestly. I think he's easily the best part of it. And Anthony Starr was also in another show called Banshee, which I highly recommend you guys check out. It used to be a Cinemax show, or as we know it, guys, Skinemax. Um, go check out Banshee if you haven't seen it. It's great. And, um, yeah, I really enjoyed this movie. It's got, like, a nice mystery to it. Um, you know, for the first two acts, you're like, man, what's going on? Is this, like, a psychological horror film thing going on here? Is it, like you know, what's the mystery? Um, and obviously I'm not going to spoil anything about this, but I just, I don't know. I, th I thought the kid in this, uh, Woody Norman as Peter did a really, really great job. Definitely a solid, uh, child actor. And he's right there. Um, you got the whole family. She's the mother, the father, the son, and it's just got this very ominous tone about it, like, throughout the the whole thing. But especially the first two acts. Because you're like, what's going on? Um, who's this kid talking to? What, you know, like, what is this? Why, why, why did the parents seem kind of off? You know, maybe even a little bit, like, you know, sinister as you, you know, as you're watching it. You're like, you know, are they normal? Are they weird? Like, what's, like, what's going on? You know, is, is the kid off? Like, you know, the whole, the whole time you're just trying to figure out this mystery. Um, and uh, I really enjoyed it. I would say the, the film's weakest point is the third act when you find out what is going on. Um, it kind of turns into a different film, uh, that third act, which wasn't bad. It just, um, it didn't live up to the expectations that the first two acts, you know, set up. Um, but it was okay. But you also have uh, Cleopatra Coleman as Miss Divine. She's the teacher in this film. She's uh, Peter's teacher. And, um, you know, I, I thought she did a really solid job as well. Um, you know, just, uh, you know, trying to help Peter and, um, you know, also kind of, you know, she's wondering what's going on with his, like, home life and all this stuff. So you get some of that. And, yeah, there's there's some very good suspenseful moments with um, Miss Divine and uh, this, you know, Peter's parents, which I, I really enjoyed. But, yeah, like I said, the third act just doesn't quite, um, you know, live up to the rest of the movie. But I, I still thought it was decent. It's just, it just really shifts gears in that third act. <laughs> I'll say that. Um, some very cool practical effects. Uh, there is some CGI, which, you know, there were just moments in the film where they had to use it, I guess. But you'd be surprised. I watched the special features on this film, which there's like, uh, like three uh, different special features. And one of them was kind of going through the practical effects and stuff. And, um, I, you know, I don't want to say too much about that because that kind of leans into some of the stuff that's going on in the film. So I'll just kind of leave it at that. But believe it or not, some of the stuff that you're seeing in this movie that looks like CGI, a lot of it is practical. I'll just say that. Um, 
and uh yeah i thought the special features were pretty good they're quick you know just like they're each only like a few minutes long but i thought they were good you know I, I, any special features i'll, I'll take them you know because it just gives me a sense of what's going on behind the scenes like oh how'd they do that and, you know um you know because uh, some of the stuff, like I said, I thought it was CGI and I was kind of rolling my eyes. But then when I watched the uh, special feature on it, you know, they explained that, no, what you were seeing was like, you know, mostly practical. And the director prides himself on that because he says, you know, he, he prefers using practical effects and then maybe just using a little bit of CGI in scenes where you kind of have to. And I was like, OK, I respect that, man. You know, that's cool. So, um yeah, so overall, I would say um, directed well, great cinematography, you know, excellent acting from everyone. Uh, just, you know, just, um, I don't know, check it out for yourself and uh, let me know what you think. You know, I'd be really interested, you know, if any of you guys have seen this movie yet. Uh, it just came out on physical media, so yeah that's about all i want to say you know i don't want to spoil anything for anyone so just go check it out uh you know watch it for yourself and uh let me know what you think about it um yeah if if i had to rate this i'd probably give it a and i know i change up my rating system all the time <laughs> i do it all the time i'm still trying to figure out a good rating system but i'd probably give this like a give it like a like a strong um six out of ten uh, i'll give it that i'll give it like a strong six out of ten i gotta watch it a few more times to really and you know like i said i'm trying to be a little bit better about how i rate things now and not go too overboard um you know because i but I, I thought a lot of the stuff that was done in this film was done very well you know i really do um you know, especially, and it seemed like a pretty low budget type movie. I can't imagine that this cost that much. Like I said, there was only a couple locations in it and stuff, but yeah, I, I highly recommend watching Cobweb. See it for yourself. And, uh, that's about it guys. So yeah, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of the movie. Um, you know, uh, thumbs up the channel, subscribe if you haven't already, I'd appreciate it. And I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.